Hey guys, so I've been saying for a while that I've been wanting to do a little bit of a studio refresh and I've decided to just pull the plunge and get on with it. So the first thing that I did was clear out this wall over here which I have always had problems with because it's such an awkward wall since the door to the studio swings open and whatever I put there will get hit by the door so I can't actually put anything there so it's ended up being like kind of this dead space storage corner that's always a mess and it's always bothered me so I'm gonna start off with that wall what I've decided is first thing I'm gonna do is remove this bookshelf because while I do think it looks nice Functionally, it was not great. Since it is open shelving, I always felt the need to just put decorative things there so it wasn't really doing anything in terms of storage. So I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna try to find a more functional solution. Another thing I really wanna take care of is I want to get rid of these acrylic boxes that I'm using for storage, mostly because although they are so useful, they do keep a lot of things neat and tidy. I just really hate how they look. I feel like they're too big and they take up so much room and they're quite an eyesore because I can see everything that's inside, which is like good and bad. Like I know what I have at hand, but at the same time, I don't necessarily want to see everything all the time. So it just makes me feel like the space is so cluttered. So I need to find another solution for that as well. I've actually commissioned someone to make some curtains for me. And the big thing that I'm really excited about is I'm planning to paint my big table over here, which is fantastic for storage, but it's a little beat up because that's been handed down to me from my brother. So it's quite old. So I'm gonna try to um, kind of refresh it a little bit and give it a new life. So yeah, let's get started. So I've emptied the bookshelf and this is what I mean. Like it's become a really cluttered, kind of just dumping ground for like packaging things or craft things that I've been doing. Um, I really need like a little hanging area because that's where I put like my apron and clothes that need to be repaired, like sewed, but I don't have time for it right now. So I just kind of hang it there in the meantime. So I went to H&M Home and I found this pretty little hanging rail system. And it's made out of mango, which I believe is a sustainable wood. So I am going to replace these little command hooks with that. But first, let's get rid of this bookshelf. That was quite the ordeal. So the main reason why I really wanted to opt for closed storage versus the open shelving thing that I have going on currently is because I'm finding that a lot of the things that I want to keep are rather unsightly. So like now I have, after I finished the whole doghouse customization thing, I have all these house paints that um, I can't throw out yet because they're still actually quite full. And I just, I don't wanna leave them hanging out here in the office and I don't want them out in the open. So maybe like a closed storage system would be better for me. Uh, we happen to have this just in the hallway and nobody was using it. So I'm going to use this for now and see how this system works for me. I guess it's time to stop procrastinating and start putting things away. <laughs>
So I got some advice from my brother-in-law and he said, since I'm not really planning to put anything too heavy on this rail, um, I can probably get away with just using mounting tape instead of drilling into the wall. So I'm just using some masking tape right now to see how I like the position. What do you guys think? Do we like it there? And probably need to move the cabinet over to this side so that I can hang the aprons and stuff. Let's see what it would look like with an apron. I kind of like it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Decisions, decisions. I can't decide on the hand hanging rail right now, so I'm gonna work on something else instead in the meantime. I also got these. Hang on, let me put you down. Ta-da! They're little ceramic, like sort of, um, what do you call them? The ones, like they, they're supposed to look like the cartons that the strawberries come in. I just thought that was so cute. I want to use these to store my acrylic so I can get rid of this like storage plastic palette thing that I'm, I've never been crazy about. So I'm gonna transfer these here. Ta-da! I'll probably arrange that better. And I got a second one, a second matching one. I thought it was so cute to store my watercolors. Because I noticed ever since I moved them into this acrylic um, box drawer thing, yes, I can see everything, but I don't reach for them anymore. So I think if I had them up in, out in the open, I'd be more likely to just grab it. Hello, welcome to another day of renovation. It's not really a renovation. I think the studio refresh is doing very well. Um, I'm really happy with the progress that I'm making so far. I've thought of something else that I want to do. It's been on my mind for a while now. So you know how when I paint, I always paint here. Excuse the mess. There's still a lot of things that need to be sorted out. Um, I always paint here because this has the best light. That way I can get uh, the best light for paintings but also if I decide to film anything then it's just better for the camera but I'm always looking out at basically nothing there's nothing in my view as you can see so I was thinking I would remedy that by borrowing a few of my mother's house plants and putting them outside the windowsill that way when I look out at my view there's a little bit of greenery there I think that would be really cute so that's what I'm going to attempt to do right now I've already asked for permission and I'm going to take one of her plant stands and put it outside my room so I can get a better view Hi Batch! You wanna help? I'll be honest, I'm not sure how much of a difference this makes. It's just like on this side because the air conditioning unit is over here so I can't put anything there. But I mean, at least there's a little something. I don't know. Good morning. Continuing on with our studio makeover, as you can see, the space is looking good. I'm really enjoying the changes I've made so far. So what I did was I took one of my big prints a big piece of art from my room just to put it in that space and see how it would look like and see if I liked it and I really like it but I wish that it was 
a little bit bigger so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to attempt to make a big print that's gonna go maybe up on this wall over here just to create a little bit more balance so let's get started on that <laughs> I've been at this the whole day and I am having such a hard time painting today. I'm not even going to show you what I made because I honestly really hate it. This is like the second piece that I've tried to paint and I really... It's just one of those days where I don't feel like making anything. I'm forcing myself to try and make something and as a result, I'm not liking anything that's coming out. I'm also struggling a little bit because... Um, I don't really paint in this large of a scale. I'm more used to my smaller sketchbooks. So this is really good that I'm getting the chance to practice and paint something larger, but oh, I'm struggling. This is, this is not gonna get done today. I'm gonna have to pick this up tomorrow when I hopefully am feeling more like making something. Good morning. Um, I spent the entire day yesterday painting. I didn't film it because I really do find that whenever I try to document the process of me filming, that's when I feel the most uh, awkward and insecure about the work that I'm making. So yesterday I sat down and just tried painting with no expectations and that really helped. So the painting that I'm working on is inspired from this photograph that I took when I was on holiday with my best friends in the Netherlands. So we, the three of us grabbed a cup of coffee together and my friend who lives there now had gifted us some sunflowers and it was just so beautiful. I have a picture of it on my Instagram. So I'm using that as a reference. So yesterday I focused mainly on all the color washes and I started working with watercolor again for this painting. I just missed working with watercolor, so I did watercolor for this piece specifically. Today what I want to do is, I found this technical pen that I think belonged to my brother from when he was still in high school or something and he just never used them. So I've kept them all these years and I refilled them with some nice ink. And I'm gonna try to use that to add just a little bit of detail, especially to the flowers. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And I think after that, the painting should be done. I did a test where initially I tried to add the details using my nib. So I tried using this first, but I think there was something about the uh, consistency of this ink. It was too watery, so it wasn't really staying on the well. And then, and then I remembered that I actually had these pens, so I decided to give them a shot. And oh my gosh, I love them so much. The ink comes out so smoothly and it's there's such a pleasure to draw with. So I'm really happy that I'm finally putting these to use now. <music> Thank you. 
today is the day we're finally installing the new curtains. I am so excited to see the result. It is the last day of our makeover or at least our refresh for this video. These are the final results for the curtains. I did not get to show you what they looked like last night because they actually finished installing them quite late. So as you can see, it's not perfect. There are some areas that um, because of this bookshelf, for example, the curtains don't fall so nicely going down so that that's something that i'm gonna need to fix later on down the line this isn't the original color that i actually picked out i actually picked out this really pretty olive green color but then once um, everything was set in motion she informed me that she actually didn't have that color as it turns out so i had to pivot and pick something else i don't know how i feel about this final color the fabric itself when you go up close is beautiful like it looks really nice but because it is already such a beige and white room i just feel like it gets lost in everything else that's in here so i don't know how i feel about that um as you can see i've pretty much rearranged everything but it's funny because i was looking back at one of my older studio makeover videos and i've rearranged everything to go back to how it was before which just goes to show that if you have a system that works you really shouldn't change things up uh one last thing that i purchased to really remake this room in my opinion is i got this rug from h m it's made completely out of sustainable cotton which i'm happy about I'm really surprised with how many sustainable, beautiful home goods I was able to find at H&M, so I'm really happy about that. I said at the beginning of this video that I was planning on repainting this table that you see over here for my storage. I was not able to get to that this week, so that's probably going to be a later project. I'm still trying to determine if I can actually DIY it on my own because maybe it requires a little bit more work than I thought, but I don't know. I still, that's something that I still have to research. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I said at the beginning of the video that I was planning on repinting, repinting, 